Hey guys, welcome back to the 508 channel. My name is Pete and they call me Scooby. So today we're gonna have mail time number two. That's right, number two. My buddy Austin has sent me more mail for my birthday. So let's see what we've got here. He gave me two packages this time. All right, let's see. I mean, you don't have to be doing this, Austin. You know that, I've told you many times before. Oh, what do we got here? Oh, this is, looks nice. This looks real. Oh, oh. Can, can you see that? No, you can't. Let me show you. Look at that. I got me a nice Holly Davidson hat. Really nice fabric. Ooh, this is like a classy hat. I like this. All right, I don't even have to adjust it. Perfect fit. Thanks, Austin. That's a really nice looking hat there, buddy. I hope you're doing well, by the way. That's a nice, really nice hat, buddy. Thank you. I appreciate that. Now we're going to go into package number two. Oh, wow. Wow, check that out, guys. You know what this is? It's a shirt with a picture of my bike on there. With the uh, whole coronavirus mural that was just painted in my city about uh, a month and a half ago. That's really awesome. Yeah, and this mural is based on the uh, coronavirus. Let me show you. If you look in the eye, see that whale? That's supposed to be interpret like the whaling city of New Bedford. We live in New Bedford and it's the whaling city. So they, they, the artist of this um, drew a whale in the eye and the eye is sad because it's teary and see the, the virus the coronavirus all around that's really awesome though this is something that I'm gonna have to treasure for the rest of my life that's for sure because this is a part of our lives that we'll certainly never forget thank you Really, really, really awesome. I might even just frame this and not wear it. Ha <laughs> ha! There's an idea. <laughs> so, thank you, Austin. I appreciate the gifts. Um, you don't have to send me gifts. That's not what I'm doing this for. I already explained it. For those of you that don't know, Austin's my writing buddy. Um, check out my intro video. I go into... Uh, I'm actually going to be making another one. But check out my intro video. I got more of an explanation on that. So I did get another package in the mail. I bought myself something for my birthday. Can you believe that? Can you guess what it is? It's in the shed. I'll show you in just a second. Just like that, we're back in the shed. Now I'm assuming you all want to see what I bought myself. There it is. I got myself a crash bar. Engine guard. Whatever you want to call it. Holly Davidson doesn't like to call it a crash bar. They like to call it an engine guard. I'm going to be installing this today. It doesn't look like it's going to be very difficult. Looks like it's going to be a fairly simple install. Comes with the hardware. Comes with... Oh, geez. They glued this shut. Did they? They sure did. Two 
two U-bolts. It's going to go from there into the frame. I'm sorry. From around the frame into there. So when it's going to have a washer and the nut. And it's going to have this one here that's going to go from behind the top of the brace. Looks like it's going to screw right into the top over there. Nice, simple install. It shouldn't take long. So this center bolt right there, ready to go right there. That's going to connect right to the frame right here right where that hole is put my finger through it on the other side to make it easier to see and then the u-bolts go right through here and it should be that simple of an install i however don't like that the u-bolts are going to be rubbing up against the frame so i'm going to wrap this with vinyl Let's get ready. You're gonna need a 730 seconds, 730 seconds Allen socket. Um, it's gonna be really hard to get in there with an Allen wrench, so I strongly recommend getting uh, a ratchet wrench and uh, one of these uh, Allen keys in this, in the, uh, with the socket attachments. And don't forget your Loctite. I think a second pair of hands would be great on this. sides over here see if it's easier to do it from this side all right it's getting there that doesn't look too shabby so I'm gonna wrap the uh, frame rails up with vinyl wrap I think I have just enough left over that's the leftover from when I did the uh, battery cover for the seat I don't know if you can tell. I don't think I did a video on that. It didn't come out the greatest, but it's there. Did the whole covers, both of them. <clears throat> Just covers the top so I got the seat don't leave any rub marks on there. I added the uh, vinyl strip on there. I don't know if that'll even come up on the camera. Yeah, you can see it a little. Alright, so now that we got the uh, both sides wrapped, we are going to install this U-bracket. So that's going to go right around there. And over there to lock tight. You do have to make sure I guess you don't tighten that too much because this is uh, fighting me a little. That goes on there, that goes on there. Don't forget your washer. And your nut. Just keep a rag handy. Tighten that nice and tight. Make sure there's no wires pinched. Nine sixteenths. I'm gonna go with a deep socket. You wanna make sure you tighten this down evenly. Same thing for the other side. Alrighty. Might have to move my 
clutch cable. Alright, I just gotta fiddle with my clutch cable. I'm gonna change the position of this bracket here. Instead of it being directly in the front, it's gonna be a little off to the side, right? Yeah, a little bit, not too bad. And there you have it. That wasn't that hard. I think it looks pretty good on the bike. What I like about it is this angle right here it doesn't really stick out much further than the pegs so so that gives me a good idea of how much clearance I have I guess it'll be good in case there's a drop that's for sure this will take the hit and hopefully uh, nothing else gets scraped or beat up too bad I definitely don't see my feet ever going up there. Yeah? Well, there you have it, boys and girls. Easy install. Cost me 120 bucks on Amazon. Um, will it protect my leg in a crash? I don't know. Um, I'm going to say no. <laughs> um, will it protect the bike in case I drop it? I'd say absolutely. That's why I bought it. Um, yeah, so if you like this content, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe, and I'll talk to you guys in the next one. In Austin, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I really, really, oh, almost dropped the bike. <laughs> Appreciate the gifts, buddy. See you later, buddy. Scooby. <laughs> I felt like there was another line coming and there wasn't.